Hey there! This is a short video showing you some of the features of Windows Movie Maker. Let's get started. So before we do anything, let's change this to a widescreen video. To do this, we're going to click Tools, then Options. Now from here, we're going to select 16 by 9. And now we see that it's turned into a widescreen video. So let's start adding some media here. I'm going to start clicking and dragging into some of the pictures that we have, some of the videos. I'm going to change some of the durations. Um, just make a nice little short video that we can use as our example. So I got this. I'm going to change the duration of this picture, make it a little longer. Now this video is way too long, but I'm going to just shorten it up a little bit. There we go. That, that looks about right. All right, so let's add some effects. Now, I'm gonna do it to the first picture. So I'm gonna select the first picture, then I'm gonna click on Tools, then Effects. Now, here we have a whole list of effects that we, are, we can use. I can double click on one and get a little preview. So let's choose, we have a whole nice list, but let's just choose this one right here. I'm just gonna click, drag it right to the clip that I want, and let go. Just that easy. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like. And we can see, look, we've got that zoom effect. Super easy, we just had to click and drag it in. And that's it. So, now that we have that, let's add um, a title clip. So I'm gonna click on Tools. Now I'm gonna select um, adding a title just to this clip. Select that, just type in what I want. Just type it in here, and there we go. So now we see it, and it comes right across. Beautiful. So now let's do this again, but this time let's add credits that happen at the end. So I'm just going to type in some information here. There we go, and we can add more here if we had more people, but again, this is gonna be a, just a short demonstration just so you can see how it looks. And if you see it, added it right to the end of my video. It makes it so much easier than I'm moving. So now if we see the video go all the way through, we have our transition here, We've got our clips coming up. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit, that way we can get to the end. And now we got our credits rolling. Easy, easy stuff. So now that we have this, let's add some transitions to our videos. Some really cool effects going in between each clip. So here we have a whole list of transitions that we can use. And again, just like uh, with the effects, if you double click on one, you can see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna click it, drag it in. Now, when I drag it in, I'm gonna have to just put it in between two clips and it does that almost automatically for me. It almost kind of locks it in. Just drag in what I want. There we go. Let's go back to the beginning and now let's play it again and see what this looks like. See if we like it. We have our effect zooming in and then we got that shatter, that shatter transition which looks really nice. The kids will have a lot of fun choosing different transitions for their movie projects. So now we're gonna add a layer of narration. So here I want it for this clip over the movie. I'm gonna start the narration and just click record. This will turn on the mic that's on your computer and record. Here I'm recording something to the effect of this is a test, let's see how this works. Now you have to save the file, so just save it to your desktop because it needs to have that audio file saved so that way you can use it in your project. All right, let's go back to the beginning and preview this and see how it looks. Have our zoom, and then we should have our shatter transition. There we go. Our title card. Now we'll come up on the narration. So here I can talk over the video, and this is a test on how it works. It's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, it looks like my movie's done. Well, the only thing I have to do is publish this movie. So, just like how I did, I showed you in the first video to publish a movie. 
We're going to go to File, Publish the Movie. We're going to save it to this computer. Save it to the desktop because it's always easiest to find on your desktop. Name it whatever you want. All right, and remember, don't go with the basic settings. Go with this HD setting, that way you get a really great video. All right, so now it's publishing, and I'm gonna speed this along just a little bit. There we go. Typically, it would take a, I think this took about two, three minutes in real time, but we don't need to see all that. It's published. Now if we see this file right here on my desktop. Double click it to open it. And there we go. There's the video. We got that zoom, the shatter. Much easier to publish than the iMovie. And I think you'll find with your kids doing this video, it's going to be so much easier. And then we have our narration over this. It's wonderful. There we go. So that's it. Now, if you need any more help, email me, go to the blog. Now, don't forget to go to the blog and sign up for our time for us to work together. Thanks.